them. So uh, this is a really cool demo that we actually created. Uh, the first time we showed this was uh, when we launched our reference series. Uh, and uh, we did the same thing here uh, across the entire series, starting with E all the way to P-Series Quantum. And what that is is uh, we custom made uh, uh, these sets right here by leaving the LCD glass pulling out the entire optical stack, all the diffuser sheets and the diffuser plates, the prisms and all of that kind of stuff is pulled out and we left the raw LEDs. So what you're seeing here is content on the screen and then the raw LEDs behind it. Now the reason why we did that is to show you actively what's happening with our local dimming uh, within each series of products. So if you look here as the content is paused, you can see uh, I think one of the clearest things is that pause icon is up on the top left hand corner. But with E-Series, because we have in this particular set, 65 inch, we have six rows of LEDs and we have two columns. So this is a 12 zone system. So this top right hand zone is actually off because there's no content. The left top is on because of that pause button. But the thing that we want to point out is the fact that because there's content, we have to light up that zone. Now, we want to dim this area, but we want to keep that area bright. So there's some compromising that we have to do from an algorithm standpoint to make sure that we're not, we're not uh, blooming too much over here, uh, but at the same time, we're keeping the pause icon bright. Same thing with this firework in the middle, right? So because it's on in the middle, we have to turn on this entire zone. So again, because we only have two columns in our entry level E-series, there's a little bit of com compromise we can't peak this too much, we can't dim this too much because it's one zone. In M series, there's less compromising that we have to do because we have four columns. Now, this particular set, the 65, has 10 <coughs> rows by four columns. So there's 40 zones of local dimming. And if you look at the firework here, there's less blooming that's happening. So we can get a little bit more aggressive from a peak brightness algorithm standpoint. Um, you know, when you have the entire optical stack here, you're not going to see these LEDs. But we can't go too crazy in peak brightness because you will get blooming here, right? In P-series, here we have actually 10 columns. So again, 10 rows of LEDs, 10 columns. So for the 65-inch P-series, there's 100 zones of local dimming and peak brightness zones as well. And as you can see, this firework, it's much tighter. Even the pause icon, it's much tighter. So since we can control those zones, we can go more aggressive on peak brightness without showing too much blooming. Now again, as you can see here, there's some LEDs that are on outside of the content. So again, we can't go too crazy, but we can get more aggressive than the M series and the E series. When you look at P series quantum, we actually have 192 zones. So you're gonna see 24 columns and eight rows here, right? And as you can see, much, much tighter. Right? It's not like OLED pixel for pixel, but much, much tighter as far as uh, the content and the zones that are allocated to that. So what we can do here is go more aggressive than we can in the P and the M and the E as far as dimming and peaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Carlos, hit play here. And as you see the content running, you can really see these active LED zones with P series especially be really, really tightly controlled compared to the other series. Now, we're the only manufacturer even still today that can put local dimming in our entry level, which absolutely helps with contrast. But as you can see, stepping up within the line, you get more and more finite control of those zones when you add more zones of local dimming. And what that does is it not only reduces or improves the black level uh, as you step up, but also we can peak brightness uh, more aggressively because we have finer control of those zones. So you can see this goldfish swimming around and you can see a little bit more blockier on the M series, but it's still, it still controls it very well. Uh, and as you step up to P and P series quantum, it's much tighter. Very cool demo. Really made for video here. <laughs> it's like finally a YouTube video that actually communicates something. <laughs>
Yeah, this is a really cool visualization of what full array local thinning is doing. Yep. I'll bet you this one will get a few views. <laughs> Great. So this really has been the heart and backbone, really, of our PQ story, of our feature quality story, for you know five or six years now, right? We've been supporting uh, full array uh, and local dimming, even in our e-series, you know, back five years ago. And you know, this is just a good visualization, as we you can see, starting from e-series all the way up to p-series quantum, really how we control those zones and to maximize the picture quality as you step up in the line. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.